England. <coughs> hello, 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 everyone. I'm Dasha Jamison with Red Rock Pastel Society of Nevada. And uh, welcome to our winter meeting featuring our Las Vegas member, uh, demo by Tatiana Gerbakevska. She's going to present her um, still life, floral still life, and get you in a holiday spirit. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we're going to start with watercolor wash because Tatiana is a very accomplished watercolor artist and she implemented everything she knows about watercolor. And after she fell in love and passed the museum, she's um, working in those two mediums and creating some spectacular artwork. Um, you can see reference photo and I will make sure I'll bring it on our screen later a little bit, but all eyes on Tatiana and she will talk a little bit about her process. Tanya? Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. And I will paint this still life. It's all about a holiday mood, holiday atmosphere. And uh, I'm going to use a uh, Lux archival paper. And as Dasha mentioned before, I'm probably my uh, primary medium is watercolor. And uh, I tried watercolor on this paper and right now this is just uh, i i love this paper even more than arches the the arch the expensive watercolor paper it behaves very well with all uh, water mediums i tried a gouache a watercolor on this paper acrylic and it behaves very very well so but you know it's only uh, in white color so that's big, that's that's why I uh, always to do like a wash with uh, watercolor or with ink, with any uh, water medium. So right now I will do this kind of wash and I will show you my process. And uh, later I'm going to paint probably on this one. Let me change the board. <clears throat> So this is Lux Archival, this kind of paper. And I will be using uh, three uh, primary colors. All of them are Daniel Smith colors. But I diluted with water, with water and I need like a yogurt consistency. I diluted, uh, just spray uh, spray water and because this paint is too thick for this technique. And I will use this kind of cheap uh, big brush from Lowe's. And uh, for my palette, I'm going to use this uh, ceramic big ceramic plate. And uh, I will show you. So we're gonna do a smooth and nice tra uh, transition from uh, light uh, greenish color to the darker but cooler green color. And as I mentioned before, just three paints, blue, uh, yellow and, and red. I'm going to show um, reference once again, and you guys will see it in a few. So back to Tanya. OK, I'm going to start with just yellow and blue. For the yellow, I use uh, Azo, uh, nickel Azo yellow, the name of this color. And for the blue, cobalt blue. And just um, a little. I've joined the um, Red Rock Pastel Society, and there's a demo today. And I think I'm going to watch it. Unless you feel like you're 
No, I won't abandoned. feel. Well, I won't feel bad. Just guys watching football in the other room, but my blood was not even sure I'm going to keep watching. Yes, and uh, right now for a second, I may uh, ask everybody. I'm going to mute everybody for them apart while Tanya is talking, and Tanya, maybe I'm, a porch. Oh, I think she's doing flower. Tanya, please unmute yourself uh, because it. It, you can unmute yourself. Yeah, I muted all, but please unmute yourself because we want to hear you. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yes, it's great. Thank you. Okay. So, so three colors. And you see the, the, uh, the water and pigment uh, moving down. And every time when I touch my palette, I add a little bit uh, of paint. For example, if I add red, it's gonna be a little bit on the warmer side. If I add in blue, it's gonna be more on the cooler side. And you see how nice and soft and smooth is going to be our background for this painting. And I need to do it darker and darker and darker. For this purpose, I'm going to load my brush with more pigment, but less water. More cobalt blue. Tanya, there is a question in the chat. Uh, which one uh, is your red color? Uh, the name of this color is Rose Mother Permanent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is our shadow part. A little bit more red and more cobalt blue. Okay. And right now I need to move it or uh, to turn it a little bit because I want the pigment and the water uh, fl flow in different direction. I'm going to wait a few seconds in this position and then I will change the position of my board. Mm -hmm. this. And if, if I have, for example, the excess of water and pigment, I'm going to use um, we see the sponge, makeup sponge. It absorbs water very well. And for the for these um, little uh, white spots, I'm gonna use the big powder brush just to move the pigment around. You see, I have nice <laughs> transition from dark to light, from warmer, uh, uh, warm color to uh, dark, um, cool color. That's all about my <laughs> watercolor underpainting for this still life. <clears throat> Guys, and I shared uh, Tanya's reference photo. Uh, now we will start with our presentation for today. And thank you, thank you all so much for joining us. Let me, uh, Tatiana gonna demonstrate a little bit later today. 
And now is to our presentation part. I'm trying to remove spotlight. I will be looking at the chat a little bit later. And thank you all for joining us. We have uh, Sherry from Massachusetts. We have Tony from England. Uh, we have Kim, we have Margaret, we have Pat from Las Vegas, and uh, Joanne from South Carolina, Mary from Florida. Thank you guys all for inviting us to your studio today. So back to my presentation. We had, uh, I was putting this presentation today, guys, and I noticed we had very busy year in the Red Rock. And thank you for being part of this year. So uh, as I mentioned today, we all got together for Tatiana's floral presentation. And I wanna thank you for doing that. Uh, also, we see here Sherry, she's our Mrs. Uh, Facebook group right now. So if you are not part of a Facebook group yet, I'm encouraging you to join it and uh, comment. Uh, congratulations to our 12 days giveaway winner, uh, Varsha. And uh, she got to win some J. Luda colors this year. So it was our most recent event. But if you'll join our group, we have a lot of fun things happening there. And I will ask somebody to put a group in the chat or I will do it a little bit later. If you're not part of this group, please join. Uh, so back to 2022, our most favorite part is online jury member web show. And this show was fantastic. We have great team of judges and jurors who joined us and it was just wonderful. Uh, we have over 15 different um, countries, amazing prizes. And uh, thank you everyone who participated in this show. Also, as you know, when we're doing our online show, we do interviews and very fun to watch. Uh, so one of my favorite interviews was with Pierre and it was on Instagram. So Mr. Senel, yeah, uh, he let me try some wonderful red pastels and you kind of uh, know what happened. So all our interviews can be found on our YouTube channel or under Instagram live. Right now, Instagram switching things around and we're doing it as reels. But if you go to reels or video section, you will find all the interviews with amazing artists, what we do. And I'm not always sounding like that. Um, and this year also was special because we got to do some things in person. And Mr. Sir Tony Alain joined us in Las Vegas for his presentation and a workshop. So he, we had wonderful time in Las Vegas. And it was our first public event after we've been in a pandemic era. So thank you, Tony, for coming to Las Vegas and demonstrating and teaching wonderful workshop for us. And if you didn't join us in Las Vegas, there, there were plenty of Zoom opportunities to join our workshops with Tony. It was a bundle of fun, I must admit. Thank you for coming. And next event, we hosted our first Las Vegas exhibition. And it was first in-person exhibition, but was judged by Sergei Pitile and juried by some amazing artists. And it was red exhibition in Las Vegas. As part of this show, uh, we hosted kids workshop for local group. Thank you, Sergei, for organizing that and it was landscape workshop for local art group what we uh, got invited to teach and introduce uh, this uh, wonderful group of kids uh, 
to fine art medium of pastel. It was their first experience with pastel and we did little lecture on the art history uh, of uh, pastel medium and let them try some pastel, some amazing work got out from there. And it was fun red rock show in a local gallery. Uh, Skip was there, uh, our David Gilmore uh, won some wonderful award and we even had um, Pastel Giraud visiting us and uh, congratulating uh, winners there. And it was busy year because also we got to go to IAPS and to say hi to yes, everybody please. in person. Okay. We're live. Hello. Okay. So it was fun time to meeting everybody in person during IAPS. And thank you everybody who put on their badge uh, IAPS. Uh, at IAPS, Red Rock as their home pastel society. I know Tony did, so thank you for doing that. And we are always happy for our Red Rock members who are entering IAPS shows and uh, listing IAPS as their home society because home is where your pastels are. I had, on another hand, honor to present um, at President's Forum at IAPS, I talked about uh, Art of Pastel project, what we did in Pienza, Russia in October, 2021. So our uh, word is different right now, but we did something amazing and uh, kids there got introduced to pastel mediums and they keep sending postcards. So that's something what we did over a year ago, but uh, kids groups were still painting in pastels. Um, I got to speak at President's Forum about this project and also um, be part of presentation of uh, ASTM standards. And this is on IAPS YouTube channel. And IAPS was so much fun. We had a wonderful time during Fiesta night. Thank you for stopping by at our booth. And now uh, back to our plans for 2023, or I guess I should say forward. And for 2023, we're planning a lot of events. And of course, uh, we'll start with Tony. And you've been part of our demos workshops and we're preparing something fun for February of 2023. Uh, it's a Tony Graduates exhibition. We will send additional information about that. But if you ever participated in a Zoom or in-person workshop, you have a chance to enter this work for amazing virtual contest. So please make sure uh, to put it in your notes. Entry deadline will be sometimes in January and this show is in February. That's something to prepare for. <clears throat> Spring. We're going to do our online jury exhibition. This exhibition is for your own work. So it's need to be done by you, not during online um, workshop, not during live workshop. This is very competitive and uh, very nice show with great prizes. So mark it on your calendars for spring. Please save your best work for us. And in fall of 2023, we're gonna move down the rainbow and it will be orange exhibition. So I do not know how you will um, see orange. Uh, I saw red and here is a whole book of uh, 50 plus paintings and everybody saw red different. Uh, so from some red rock mountains to red um, dresses, to everything in between. So how would you see orange? I don't know, but prepare something orange for me in uh, fall of 2023. And that will be in-person show in Las Vegas. Right now I'm looking at the venues. I will try to secure for us beautiful exhibition space. And 
thank you all for being part of the Red Rock. And now we we'll back to Tatiana. She's going to demonstrate for you. Thank you so, so much. And okay. I'm maybe ready. you ready, Tanya? Mm -hmm. Should I move it closer? Um, maybe just ever so slightly, if you can. And I wanted to thank, like, while you're doing that, Mary, is it okay if I'll spotlight you and introduce you? Mary? Um, we got a new team member, uh, Mary Planning. Yes. Okay, I'll spotlight you. We have a new uh, membership chair, but you'll be in a process of transition right now, uh, how we're gonna do our process, but you will have better experience with Red Rock in 2023. And I saw Mary, please. Hi, everybody. I know some of you, others are new to me. Um, nice to meet you. I'm based in Florida and my favorite thing to do are paint seascapes and um, what I call starscapes. Um, and Tatiana, I think you asked me to put together a couple of slides of my work. So I yeah. don't know if you want me to do that or not, but if you do, you have to either make me co-host or somehow or another let me share. Yeah, sure. Let me, let me do that really quick. But um, I'm really looking forward. I love this particular group. Everybody is so very dynamic, <laughs> opinionated, and all of that is good. Um, so um, I'm having fun getting to know everyone. And hopefully um, we'll get to do some interesting things. So these are examples of my seascapes. And I've been doing starscapes for years. And these are just fun things based on uh, nebulas and galaxies and my imagination for the most part. And I love doing them. They're ever so much fun. So um, these are the ones that are the most popular with my collectors. And I've been fiddling around more with abstracts. It's not a, a step further away from doing galaxies and nebulas to moving on to doing abstracts. Since I love imagining that I'm in outer space roaming around or flying up in the sky and imagining what I'm looking at. So that's my imagination. And that's it for me, unless you need or want to ask me any questions. Guys, if you have any questions, you can save them, you can type them in the chat. And uh, thank you so much for sharing and uh, welcome to our uh, team, Mary. Thank you for sharing your work. Beautiful presentation. And now I'm going to spotlight Tatiana again. Okay, let's start <laughs> painting this uh, still life. I'm going to start with my drawing. I'm not going to do a very precise drawing, just, you know, rough uh, sketch. Probably uh, the most um, important item in this still life is uh, the bottle of Armenian, Armenian wine that I bought a couple of days ago here in Las Vegas. And I'm gonna start with this bottle. It's gonna be here. Here's gonna be the card. I'm using 6B uh, graphite pencil. So this is the Christmas flower, one second, I think, right? So 
I have a lot of things in this still life, as you can see. I was trying to create this holy mood. Having some wine, playing cards, looking on this beautiful flower. So I have one, two, three uh, fruits here, but I'm going to put another fruit for the purpose of composition over there. And uh, I need to make sure all fruits ha uh, have different size. So this one is going to be the bigger one, a little bit smaller here behind. I think that's so the, behind the flower uh, flower pot. And uh, the third one is going to be here. And the fourth one is going to be in this area. Okay, that's gonna be my white napkin. Uh, two cards here. Okay, something like that. That's it for my drawing. On this stage, I usually um, use a kneaded eraser to get rid of these pencil marks. But I want you uh, to see uh, to, to see my drawing. So I'm not gonna use it right now, but usually I do. And I will start with um, Pen pastels. Pen pastels comes uh, with uh, these special tools, some, something like this. These uh, sponges, but uh, I'm gonna use uh, the, the tools. And also I'm going to use just um, a regular makeup sponges i cut i cut them you know if you see i cut i cut them and i really like how um they behave when i uh, paint my flowers when i paint petals of uh, my flowers i like this uh these sponges i also have different uh, p uh pieces of foam I cut it on different, different shapes and I'm gonna use it probably too today. So we'll see. And I will start with this makeup sponge and I will start with the my flower. Okay. If you can see, I have uh, the towel on my shoulder uh, because I use it to clean my uh, sponge very quick. Okay, and I'm going to start. You see just two strokes and I have a leaf already here. It's very nice tool when you paint some flower. And I'm using uh, this red, uh, uh, shadow red, uh, uh, red and uh, some of the greens here for my palette. Okay, the same red for my Pomegranate, right? If I pronounce that correctly.
what I really love about pen pastels, they, it's very easy to get big shapes. Okay, this apple. I'm gonna be here, small apple, sure. The light uh, area of the flower pot, uh, pot and the shadow. Okay, let's do some green leaves. The only uh, disadvantage of this pen pastel, I think I can get my darkest dark with them. I'm gonna use the bigger sponge and if, if you see how convenient if i have already my background i have this middle value on my background some dark turquoise here. Those. Okay, something warm, dark, warm here. Okay. Middle value, warm color here. and light uh, on my white napkin. And I really need to clean my sponge really well because I'm going to use uh, light colors. This is gonna be a combination uh, of light, cool light and warm light. light, really light blue and light ochre. When use a light, a light ochre and light blue. I need to remember about the temperature, always trying to combine uh, warm and cool colors. If you have uh, any questions, please ask. I will be glad to answer. I forgot about I forgot about this box of cards. I'm gonna put it here. Mm. 
just one stroke and you have already some light on this box. Something like that. And I'm gonna do this one. And these two guys. You see how quick is that with the pen pastels? Okay, let me do some cast shadow. And I'm gonna start using pastel sticks. And I need to, ah, I forgot about this red. Let me see, what can I do? Hi, Dan, thank you for joining. Okay. It's probably our focal point. Okay, and uh, with my Senel year 179, I will do my darkest dark. Because as I mentioned before, it, uh, pen pastels colors it, it are not enough for my darkest dark. something like this. I'm trying to, during the whole, almost the whole um, painting process, I'm trying to keep my edges very, very soft. Because I'm, I always can add a sharp edges later. So I'm using this uh, sponge to soften some edges. Okay. My dark red.
but uh, it's uh, this technique sometimes i'm using this technique on pastel mud it's a very nice paper and uh, this technique works really nice on pastel mud too Color temperature, a warm red, cool red. It's always nice to have a variation of cool and warm colors. And I, in this uh, in this still life, I have two sources of light. One of them from uh, this um, uh, this side is a uh, warm artificial light and uh, uh, from this one I have a window with a cool uh, light that's why on the fruit uh, and on, on this uh, flower pot we have like a cool uh, reflection So you see how I, I'm using this uh, piece of foam just to soften some edges. And I also, to mention, I have uh, the artist tape here, two inches artist tape, and all dust uh, falls on and stick to this uh, tape. It's, it, I, I, I like it, it's very convenient. And I also have it here because I really like to turn my painting upside down uh, to see my mistakes. It's for me, it works uh, really well to check, uh, to, uh, I check myself on my mistakes in the painting. Okay, let's add more light. Sometimes with the, this edge, I can remove, you see, the um, layer of uh, pastels for different texture, different pattern. some cool color here from the window. Maybe a little bit here as well. More light on the flower.
not enough. So cast shadow here. On this paper, um, pastel pencils uh, work really, really well too. Even better than on a pastel mat. And I'm going to indicate to this card. This is like a sketch. It's too light. I will add more light here in the napkin. Again, with the combination light um, warm color and light blue. Maybe a little bit of light of light purple. Something like this. It's fascinating how many colors you need to show white. That can be oh, yeah. Yeah, on the No white color on white surface. Just you know the combination of uh, the combination of different tints. And I will smooth, soften my strokes. For example, if I don't like something, this, uh, this piece of foam war works really well to get rid of some colors of, of the layer of pastels. Gonna This is the uh, charcoal pencil. This is the dark green uh, pencil. I'm gonna do shadow behind this card. I don't play cards, honestly, but I like 
how they look. Okay. Of course, I'm not going to draw a king here on that card, but uh, it's just a suggestion. Let's see. Just a suggestion. So everything is loose, but I'm gonna, you know, uh, tighten this with a few details. And I'm gonna um, draw the, this uh, green ribbon that will connect everything together. Dark blue. Okay, something like this. So I'm gonna paint this one. With this small echo. No questions so far. And I need to work on my bottle. Bye, Tony. Happy holidays to you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Tony. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joining us. And on this portal, I have, uh, you can see it on the reference photo, but 
it's always nice uh, to have a uh, reflection from a red uh, flower on this uh, cool uh, bottle. And I'm going to use my uh, red pencil. Now I'm going, it's like a watercolor glaze, glazing. Let's do the, this pattern. On the bottom, a little bit shadow here. Some stems here. Shadow behind uh, the cards. And I also can do this shadow from the flower. I'm gonna do it with uh, this uh, piece of foam. Tanya, there is a question. Uh, do, yeah. the cards, do the cards have any symbolic meaning? Uh, any symbolic meaning? Um, not really, just, you know, uh, I, I said it before, I, I was trying to <clears throat> set up this uh, still life, you know, thinking about cozy winter evening, when you can have bottle, uh, uh, not, not bottle, a little bit of wine and uh, fruits, and you can play cards. So something like this. So not really symbolic, but uh, it's just about the atmosphere. Okay. And I can, do details on my petals or leaves with um, pastel uh, pencil. Tanya, what uh, pastel pencil is a uh, red pencil what you're using right now? Uh, right now it's, uh, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it co in the correct way. It's a uh, Karandashe, <laughs> it's a Swiss, I think, company, right? Yeah, Do you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what number? It will be on a tip of it. Yeah, it's uh, seven eight eight zero seven zero seven eight eight zero seven zero. Scarlet. The the name of this uh, color, <clears throat> Scarlet. Thank you. 
So if you worry about uh, this watercolor background, for example, if I need to, um, if I want uh, to enter uh, to the into the competition with this painting, so what I need to do, I will cover this watercolor background with uh, pastel pencils. I'm gonna do like uh, this kind of. Glazing again. So if I will not going to enter this painting, I'm going to leave it right like this because I really like this soft and nice transition. But uh, I know sometimes it could be um, the problem if you will enter the, the, uh, the pastel competition and it needs to be 80% uh, soft pastels, right? But it really helps if you, if you, if you have already. <clears throat> like middle, uh, middle value um, tone on your paper, because when it's white, it's kind of difficult to start, uh, to get your values uh, right. If you uh, look at the reference photo, you will see even I put some small uh, white stone stones on the foreground just to make them dense. And uh, uh, because I really like, you know, the movement, the movement in my composition and these little stones help, help me with this movement. It's probably too bright, too light. This one is better. And I'm gonna put this a few stones here on my white napkin as well. There is a comment by Don Emerson. You can use pen pastel colorless uh, blender with a sponge applicator to get a transparent glaze effect with pastel pencils. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I did not try. Uh, I, I was thinking about to buy it, but I didn't, I didn't try it yet. Thank you. Thank you for that advice. some cast shadows under these little white stones. And I need something warm, light warm.
Nope. That's not enough. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And um, hard pastel stick for the ribbon. Here. You see how this ribbon uh, connects everything together. <clears throat> Some highlights. If I feel like uh, uh, feel like too much is going on, I can always soften some edges. Looks beautiful. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you for everybody who being active in the chat. Thank you. A little bit of blue reflection from the window. Yeah, I think, you know, for, for this quick demo, it's gonna be all. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. I, I I'm done <laughs> with this demo. Fantastic, Tanya. Where is a request um, to get closer to the painting? But I think what we will do is uh, I will have Tanya to photograph it when she is done and uh, it will be in your email with a recording. Guys, please feel free to unmute yourself and uh, say what you think about this demo, about our meeting. It's beautiful. Thank you, looks Thank great. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank it's so very much. beautiful. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. A lot of comments and yet I cannot keep up with everybody, but thank you for your kind comments. I love the big pomegranate. I do too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And the way you did the background, that was very interesting. Thank you for that demo. You're very welcome. You're yes. very welcome. It was a yes. pleasure for me to paint for you guys. And thank you, Dasha, for inviting me. I truly appreciate it. Guys, and we decided to like uh, create interest list if you will be interested in seeing 
uh, Zoom workshop with Tatiana, we would like to introduce more instructors uh, to our uh, group. So please register where it has a question, would you prefer weekday or weekend? There is no obligation to join list, like you don't have to sign up for workshop. It's just uh, for us to know, uh, will you be interested in joining us? And what would you like to see? Thank you, John. Thank you, John, yes. Thank you everybody for joining us today. I believe I had something else what I needed to say, but I'm almost running out of a voice. And if just for a second, guys, you comfortable with turning your camera on, uh, maybe you will let me to do a quick video of our group waving and saying happy holidays. That would be really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm making sure what I'm recording this video. Tatiana will photograph your demo. And mm -hmm. uh, I'll see you all on Zoom or in real life sometime soon. Thank you all, guys. Thank you, Dasha. Thank, Thank you. Happy you. holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy Stay holidays. holidays. Stay safe and well. Happy holidays. Yes. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you much for joining us. Uh, we will upload it to our YouTube channel, and uh, you will be able to see a replay if you weren't with us from the beginning. See you soon, and uh, have a good evening, afternoon, and everything. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. reminding me membership renewal yes guys mm -hmm. uh on the website there is information about how to renew your membership there is donate button i know it's not actually donation but we are 501 chapter 3 non-profit register in the state of nevada so technically everything you donate is deductible so uh that's how we operate and you can um renew by donating $40 for regular membership and $90 for platinum membership. And Mary uh, will be hosting all the donation. Um, oh my God, I'm uh, speaking incorrectly. Mary will be providing member services for the platinum members. So you will be a spotlight feature on our social media and on a website. So that's coming this upcoming year. And uh, please join us and there is a special page on our website. So let me do what, um, let me share the screen with you guys. So if you visit our website, Red Rock, um, you will see how to join and renew. This is floral workshop, you can RSVP to it. And there is information in the details about our upcoming uh, workshops and about our memberships right here on each page. So don't hesitate to ask and you can also email about membership to contact at redrockpsnb.org or to membership at redrockpsnb.org. Chat is gonna be saved and um, will be available to those of you who are watching the recording. Thank you so much. Yes, some more new people joining us, but uh, Tatiana finished today uh, very uh, soon <laughs> and uh, with a great demo. Please photograph it for us. Uh, that would be really cool. Thank you for amazing demo. Thank you guys all for joining. Thank you, Dasha. Thank you for organizing. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, calendar. I'm gonna, yes, our membership is a, on a calendar uh, base. But if you join after October 1st, it's roll over to next year. So if you join us after October this year, your membership will be valid uh, for 2023. And just in the beginning of the year, you will receive new welcome letter. So uh, I know a couple of people joined us just recently for the recent workshops. So no worry, you still have a new full year of your membership. Sounds good. 
Good. Okay. Thank you. Merry so Christmas much. to all. Merry Christmas, Keith. Must. And the stop recording.